Let's say we're given two functions. We're given f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 4x minus 6 divided by x plus 1. And we're given g at x is equal to 8x squared minus 2x times 4x minus 1 minus 6. And let's say we're asked to determine if the following expressions are equivalent. Okay, so how would we determine if these two expressions are equivalent to one another? In other words, they're asking us if these equations are the same, if they represent the same thing. Well, we can figure it out by simplifying each expression, right? Um, f of x, for example, you can simplify by factoring the top. You can factor out a 2 on the top, and you'd be left with x squared minus 2x minus 3 all over x plus 1. And then you can factor the simple trinomial on top, right? Two numbers that multiply to negative 3 add to negative 2. I think x minus 3, x plus 1, that would work, divided by x plus 1. And of course, the x plus 1s cancel, and you're just left with 2x minus 6 if you choose to expand that part, or you can leave it factored and just have 2x minus 3. Completely up to you. Now, this over here, g of x, if we want to simplify this, we would have 8x squared. We would expand this bracket, right? So you'd have minus 8x squared plus 2x and then minus 6. 8x squared minus 8x squared will cancel, and you're left with 2x minus 6. So it indeed does look like these two expressions are equivalent. So you could say, yeah, they're equivalent. However, there's one exception to this. And it's because f of x over here, we have a restriction because of the denominator x plus 1. If x was equal to negative 1, this denominator would be 0, and this would be undefined. So for this, we have to say x cannot equal negative 1. So they're the same with the exception of that restriction. Now, what does that mean? It means that for every value of x that you plug in to this equation and this equation, you will get the exact same answer for both unless that x value you're plugging in is negative 1. If you plug negative 1 into f of x, so if you do f at negative 1, your answer is going to be, well, it's undefined, right? We don't know the answer because it's divided by 0. But if you do g at negative 1, we do know the answer to that. You can just plug it in to this, right? You could also plug it into the original, but you're going to get the same thing. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 6 is negative 8. So they have different y values, right? They have different answers, right? They're not equivalent when you're at negative 1. But for any other value of x, if you plug it into either function, you will get the same answer. So you'd say, yes, they're equivalent, except when x is equal to negative 1. Let's do another question. Let's say we have the function f of x equals x minus 3 times x plus 4 times 2x minus 1. And then you're also told that g of x is equal to 2x squared times x plus 1 half uh, minus 5 times 5x minus 12 over 5. So I have to write it in two lines just so it would fit here. Um, and so to figure out if these two things are equivalent, we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we're going to simplify both of these. So to simplify this on the left, we can foil out the first two brackets and then multiply in the 2x minus 1 after that. So we'll leave that the same. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Put those together, you get plus x. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. Okay, now we multiply this out. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. x squared times minus 1 is minus x squared x times 2x is plus 2x squared, x times minus 1 is minus x, minus 12 times 2x is minus 24x, minus 12 times minus 1 is plus 12, collect like terms, 2x cubed, put those together, you get plus x squared, minus 25x, right, those go together, plus 12, okay, now we do g of x, we just distribute this into the bracket, and then this into this bracket, so you'll get 2x cubed, plus 2x squared times a half is just x squared minus 25x plus negative 5 times negative 12 over 5 is just plus 12. So as you can see, you get the exact same answer here 
as you get over here. Therefore, we would say, yes, they are equivalent.